Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com and I'm very excited that you're here joining me in my studio today for some paper crafting fun. So I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. if you don't already know who I am. And each week we gather on Tuesday at 1230 in the afternoon Eastern time and we craft a fun project together, right? Um, so thank you for joining me today. So this video is actually pre-recorded. Normally we're live. But um, I've pre-recorded this, and this is airing on Tuesday, May 30th of 2023. So um, we're on vacation, enjoying some time with my son's family, son and his family, uh, before he deploys. All right, so what are we going to do today? I have a fun project. This is a fast and easy one. Um, and um, yeah, let's get started. I do have a sneak peek behind me, just a couple of cards for my upcoming Forget Me Not Card Club. So if you are an avid crafter and you love fun folds and techniques um, and things just a little more elevated, that would be the program for you. It is amazing, the projects that we do every single month. And I have a library of over a thousand tutorials in that group. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, the best way to keep up with all my events that I've got going on and the offerings that I offer is by joining my email list. I will make sure there is a link in the video description below. So you have to hit show more and expand that to see all the details. But get on my email list and then you will know everything that's going on. All right, I'm going to switch the camera over and let's get started with our crafty fun today. All right, perfect. Today we are featuring the brand new Layering Leaves Bundle. Well, it's actually not a bundle in the catalog. It's just coordinating products. So this is the Layering Leaves stamp set. Um, and I love this one. This was Rachel Tessman's million dollar set. So she worked with Stampin' Up! Designers to get this design. And what I love the most about it is the large sentiments. So there are standard sentiments, which are great, very versatile, very usable, and they're a nice size. So they're not so itty bitty. And then she had them do elements that went with the coordinating bow punch, which is awesome to have some stamps that go together with that. So let me show the project we're going to make today. I actually made this for a demonstrator swap. So one of the things that are that I think is really amazing about being a demonstrator is that you get to participate in uh, these card swaps. And what that is, is we make projects and we share the ideas with each other. So it really kind of helps get your creative juices flowing. You see things that you might not have thought of before, and it gives you a nice variety of samples. So I love participating in card swaps. So this is my swap. And then, of course, we always bring the design to the inside, right? You got to do that, right? So I'm going to show you today. We're going to do a little uh, stamping and embossing on vellum. But um, I really want to show you how to do um, use your markers, your stamp and write markers and add a little multiple colors to your stamped image. And then we're also going to do um, some daubering to add a multicolor to that leaf as well. So we can create that. So kind of fun, right? Featuring one of our new colors, Pebbled Path, um, one of our returning colors, Berry Burst. If you guys haven't already uh, figured it out, Berry Burst is one of my all-time favorites. And I'm so glad that it's returned. So let's get started on today's project. Oh, at the end of the video... I will also share with you a sneak peek of the projects we're going to do at our upcoming bingo card class. So that is happening on June 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Registration closes June 10th. So just a couple more weeks to sign up and we will be featuring the Layering Leaves stamp set and with the bow punch. So hopefully you will join us for that. Again, get on my email list. That way you don't miss out on anything. But of course, you can find all of that under my events tab on my website at creativelyyours.com as well. All right, I'm actually going to start with the inside of the card first today. All right, so we've got that. Let's slide that over. And do I have my foam pad? Or have I stolen it again? That happens a lot. I steal it from my cart. I don't mean to, but it does happen. All right. So let's pull in our foam pad, why not? And our cardstock layer. So when you expand the video description, you're gonna see the complete supply list with links. So you all you have to do is click on them and add them to your shopping cart in my online store. Um, you'll also have the cut dimensions with the, uh, so you can recreate this project on your own. All right, so I'm gonna take the sentiment, thank you so much. And we're using Berry Burst ink. 
And I am just gonna stamp that at the top of this layer. There we go. And I've already put my finger in the ink pad. <laughs> do you guys do that? I do that kind of stuff all the time, all the time. All right, so let me show you how we are gonna take two of our Stampin' Right markers. I've got Mossy Meadow and Berry Burst, and I've got this lovely little um, image here, which I think looks like roses. I'm gonna use the brush tip of my marker and I'm gonna color in the top or what I see as the floral part of the image here with my marker, okay? And then I'm gonna switch colors and add the green. So when you're using markers to color an image, my, my best tip is to start with your lighter color first and then move to your darker color. You'll get better results. Now, sometimes it's harder to do this techniques on photopolymer stamps versus red rubber stamps. But um, if you clean your photopolymer before you use it, like scrub it on your scrub and mist, using your mist, um, it, it will take some of that finish off and it will work a little bit better. So now you just want to huff on the stamp to kind of with your hot breath and it will re-moisten the ink. And then you can stamp it. Oh, I need a scrap piece of paper. What am I doing? I'm stamping right on my foam pad here. See if I can get a piece of scrap paper before without knocking everything over on my desk. There we go. And then I want this coming off the edge. That's why I wanted my scrap paper. And so now I've got this fun two-toned image just with one stamp. Love it, right? I like that. Now we're going to want to clean this stamp, which I've got my scrub off camera. So I'm just going to scrub it and uh, clean that off. So we'll do that again, but we want to clean it off in between each one so that you don't muddy up that uh, ink pad, right? All right, so I've got a piece of vellum. Always love adding a layer of vellum and add some softness. And such a nice touch. I'm gonna layer down this cardstock here and I'm gonna push this from the back. Make sure that's adhered down really, really well. And we're gonna pull in our card base. So this is Pebbled Path and it's just a half sheet of cardstock. So you could cut it in half in either direction. I'm doing this as a fluff fold today. So four and a quarter by 11 is what we've cut that. And then I'm gonna adhere this down, placing my adhesive only where that white layer is covering it so that it doesn't show through that vellum. All righty. All right, perfect. All down in and done. Let's work on the front next. So. We want to next do some embossing on our vellum. So let me pull in another sheet of vellum here. I'm gonna pull back in that foam pad. I'm gonna stay on the vellum so I don't really need my scrap. Now, I want to pull in my embossing buddy. So you can get this if you don't have an embossing buddy. You can get this in the embossing additions toolkit. So it comes with the buddy and some tweezers, um, a tray to put um, your powder in if you'd like. So it's very handy dandy. Okay, and then I am bringing in my Versamark ink pad. This is an old one, my gross one, my gross dirty one. <laughs> Lots of techniques have been done with this one. All right, so I'm gonna stamp my image. So I'm going sort of straight up and down and I'm a little bit right of center. So I'm gonna stamp that down. Now, when you stamp on vellum with Versamark, you need to be really careful because it can slide really easily. And then I'm going to angle this one and kind of nest it down in. So it's really easy to slide and twist. So you just have to watch that. So it's something you have to practice, right? You got to play with it and see what works best for you to figure out what the right uh, pressure is and how to hold your stamp, all that fun stuff. All right. So I'm going to dip this in the white embossing powder. Mine looks like it's got some... Uh, extra bits in there, right? Some debris, that's okay. Shake off that excess powder. So my stamped images look pretty good, I think. And then I'm gonna heat up my heat tool off, off camera. So once your heat tool is nice and warm, go ahead and emboss it. The vellum is gonna go a little bit faster than a card spot. Yeah, see how it's already turning? I hope you guys can see that. The magic of embossing. I still love it to this day. 
All right, that's looking really good. So you just want to heat until the image is all shiny, right? You don't want to overdo it. Um, it will turn start to turn dull if you go over um, and it could turn brown. That's not good either. All right, we are not going to adhere this down just yet, but we're going to build on this layer. And then once we've got our elements built, then we'll put it on our card front so that we can put our adhesive in the right place. I'm going to slide that out of the way. Next, 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 next. So next, my favorite stylish shapes dies. I have die cut a few pieces. So I've done a white circle, second largest. And then I did a some of the more dazzle paper. I also did in the same size and then I cut it in half. So I'm going to put that on there. Just kind of give it a two-tone look here. And then I've got a second smallest circle as well that I'm going to use for my sentiment. So we've die cut those ahead of time just to save a little time. All right, so let's go ahead and put some liquid glue on the back of this. I like to use liquid glue on shapes like this. You don't have to do that, but that's entirely up to you. But that's what I like to do. Liquid glue and I, if you, if you follow me, you know that liquid glue and I don't always get along, but sometimes it's the right thing to use. All right, I love that. It adds such a nice, fun element to this circle, I think. So pretty. Now, we could go ahead and put this on our card, or we can wait until we build it up. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Why not? Let's just do it. And put three. You could do four dimensionals if you want. I think three is probably plenty. All righty, get the backings off of those. And then we will lay this down on this layer. I want to go up and over a little bit. I don't want it centered. I want it offset a little bit. Right? Nice. I'm liking that already. So set that aside. Okay, let's build our leaves. So I've got some scrap paper here. And I am going to take the leaf stamp and I'm going to ink it up in old olive ink. Okay, so the whole thing, just ink it up in old olive. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in a sponge dauber. So this is a great way to add multiple colors to your stamped image. And I prefer to use this when I am doing solid images. I'm gonna take a dauber and pick up some mossy meadow ink and I'm just gonna kind of go up the middle. Just adding some ink, just right up that center stem and onto those leaves a little bit. Okay, and then we'll stamp this right down on our paper. Let me rotate that just because of the orientation of my punch. Now you could have a foam pad underneath this if you wanted to, but look how fun that is. Can you see the multicolor? I love it. I think it's a great technique. It's fast, it's easy, anyone can do it. All right, and then let's repeat our uh, stamping on this other piece like we did on the inside where we pull in our markers. There they are. So again, I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to color the floral part of the image. Okay. And then the stem. Nice. Give it a hop if you need to and stamp your image down. So pretty, I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's punch these out. So we're gonna get our leaves punch out. So I've already unlocked it to expand the punch and I'm going to slide, if I can grab it, this right in here and align that image up in the punch. When I have it where I want it, give it a light squeeze to hold it in place. And then you can use two hands to squeeze the punch to punch out the image, right? All right, so let's repeat that with the sleeve. Same thing. Well, my hands are not real steady today. Got a little arthritis pain going on. All right, there we go. There we go. So we have our little elements there. Put this away. So to close this up, I'm just going to squeeze it close and lock it. And then now it's ready to put back on my shelf. 
nice and compact, doesn't take up a lot of space. Perfect. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of this stem. I know. So this can get a little crazy. It can ooze out and make a big mess. I'm trying to just put a little, there we go. It's starting to come out. I don't want it to come out too heavy. All right, now I'm gonna let that sit and dry for just a moment. We'll go ahead and start, stamp our sentiment and give that a moment. Now, hopefully I don't stick that to my arm, right? Um, I am gonna foam, pull back in that foam pad for my sentiment since it's a little chunkier uh, line. We'll bring in our berry burst. I'm going to stamp the for you right on that circle. I love that this is a photopolymer stamp set. Because of that, it makes it super easy to line it up on my die cut images that are already done. All right. And then I've got a couple pieces of Baker's Twine. So this is from the uh, Baker's Twine Essentials pack. And I'm using the gray granite. So I'm mixing a lot of colors here, right? It's not the same as Pebbled Path, but I think it coordinates really nicely. So I've got about two 10 inch pieces and I'm just gonna tie these together in a bow. Take my loops, crisscross that and pull that through. Hopefully I'm in camera and we'll just kind of tighten those up a little bit and those loops a little bit longer. Okay. I like that. Let's make sure they're the length we want. I think I might pull them out just a smidge more. All righty. So I've got my nice double bow. So let's go ahead and use a glue dot. And let me grab my take your pick. I'm just going to grab a glue dot. Place it on that ribbon and put this right on the back of my sentiment. Okay. Let's flip that over. I'm going to spread these loops of the bow apart because I want it. I want it to show that there's two loops. I don't want it to look like one chunky loop. If I can get it to work, like I said, my fingers are not the most cooperative with me today. All right, now let's add some dimensionals to the back of this. Put one there, and we can just like cinch down that loop if we wanted to. Perfect. All right. So now I think we are good to go ahead and build our stems and then we'll add our sentiment. Let me grab this. So I let this dry a little bit so that the glue didn't ooze out. And so I'm going to line that up just right on top of this other stem. So beautiful. I love it. And on the back, I'm going to pull in some mini dimensionals and I'm going to put these on these leaves here. That's gonna secure this down on our card. Now you could use the edge of your uh, regular dimensionals as well to do this. You don't have to have minis. I don't even think I put minis in the supply list to be honest with you. So you use what makes you happy, right? Take these off. Perfect. And then we will lie this one right down in. How about there? It's pretty good, I think. And then we can add our sentiment. We're so close to done already. It's such a fast, easy card. This is one you can make a whole bunch of for so many occasions, right? So I'm offsetting this a little bit here. Get that a little push down. So cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my bling as well to this layer. So what this is doing is I'm setting myself up so that I have a really clear visual of where I can put adhesive to put this down on my card front. So let's go ahead and add some gems. Put one up there. And let's add some over here. Perfect. All right, so those are the new in color gems. We've used them before. I really, really like them. Um, I love the shininess of them. All right, so now we're gonna take some liquid glue and I can put adhesive anywhere that's covering the vellum. So I can put adhesive on behind this circle here. I can put a dot of adhesive. Well, behind each one of these, that's a lot of adhesive. I may have to let this dry a bit. 
I could put a little adhesive where that uh, embossed image covers, right? Across these leaves to kind of tuck that down as well. I'm gonna let that sit for just a moment. We'll add that to our card front and we'll be done. Let me slide this out of the way and let that dry for just a moment. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of the projects that we're gonna make at our bingo class. So our bingo class is gonna be, as I mentioned, we're gonna be featuring this Larian Leaves stamp set and bow punch. So this one here that we just used today. And we do three fast and easy cards. So here's one, so pretty. And then here's the second one. And the third one, all beautiful, beautiful cards, fast and easy um, that we're gonna be making at Bingo. So again, registration is going on now through June 10th. So get your, get your spot reserved uh, so that you don't miss out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and place this down on our card front. If our adhesive oozes a little bit, it oozes. So I'm gonna push down on those dots, push down on those leaves, and then push down on this circle to get that adhered to the front. And we are done. And we have this wonderful dazzle. We've got multicolored images. So, so pretty. I hope you guys love this one and we'll give it a try. Yes, I hope so. I do. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're enjoying the product or the content that I'm sharing with you, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to share it with your crafty friends. I'd love to have them come join us on Tuesdays as well and uh, do a little paper crafting together. So, all right. Thanks so much. And I will talk to you again next Tuesday for more crafting fun. All right. Bye for now.